Hello, my dear eighth standard students. Welcome back for today's class, Civics Unit Seven, the Judiciary. In this module, we are going to discuss about the judiciary during ancient period, medieval period, and modern period, and jurisdiction of Supreme Court. Come, let me move on to the video session. Civics Unit Seven, the Judiciary. The excellence of the judiciary is a measure of the excellence of the government. The judicial system of a country needs to be efficient. in order to ensure proper justice to all india has a single unified and integrated judicial system let me start with the introduction judiciary plays an important role as an organ of the government it administers justice settles disputes interprets laws protects fundamental rights and acts as guardian of the constitution under law it is a system of rules imposed through a government or institution to govern people and a judiciary in law the judiciary or judicial system is the system of courts which administer justice in the name of the state evolution of indian judiciary judiciary during ancient period during ancient times the concept of justice was linked with religion the king was regarded as the fountain head of justice most of the king courts dispensed justice according to dharma the republics of ganas had their own system of law we find the existence of kulika court among the vajis there was a board of 8 kulikas for the investigation of criminal cases appeal proceeded from kula courts to gana courts judiciary during medieval period the tuklak period saw the compilation of the code of civil procedure it was called fiqai firoshai the code prescribed details of the procedure and the law in several matters it was written in arabic and was translated into persian this was followed till the region of aurangazeb when it was replaced by fatwa hai alamdari written in 1670 judiciary during modern period the indian judicial system and laws we are today was formed by the british during the colonial rule in the country the beginning of indian codified common law is traced back to 1727 when the mayors court in madras bombay and calcutta were established by the east india company regulating act of 1773 made provision for the formation of supreme court a supreme court was established for the first time at fort william in calcutta sir elija mb was appointed as chief justice of that court in 1801 and 1824 supreme courts were established in madras and bombay these supreme courts functioned until 1862 when they were replaced by the high courts at all the three places varan asking establish mufassil diwani adalat to resolve civil disputes and mufassil fauzdari adalat to resolve criminal disputes the appeals from these courts could be taken to sadar diwani adalat that is civil court of appeal and sadar nizamat adalat that is criminal court of appeal Lord Cornwallis organized the civil and criminal judicial system and the Cornwallis the district fauzdari court was abolished and circuit court was set up at Calcutta Dhaka Murshidabad and Patna during the period of William Bentinck four circuit courts were abolished judiciary and constitution india framed its own constitution among the noble aims and objectives of the constitution the founding fathers accorded the highest place to justice during british period indian had neither law nor courts of their own and both the law and courts had been designed for the colonial power the constituent assembly members therefore tried to ensure the independence of the courts with full power of judicial review supreme court rules 1966 are framed under article 145 of the constitution to regulate the practice and procedure of the supreme court the supreme court of india is the highest court of the land as established by part 5 that is the union under chapter 4 titled the union judiciary and part 6 the state under chapter 6 titled subordinate courts of the constitution of india articles 124 to 147 of the constitution of india lay down the composition and jurisdiction of the supreme court of india structure of courts in india there are three different level of courts in our country first one is supreme court of india its decisions are binding on all courts can transfer judges of high courts can move cases from any courts to itself can transfer cases from one high court to another under high court can hear appeals from lower courts can issue writs for restoring fundamental rights 
can deal with cases within the jurisdiction of the state exercises superintendence and control over courts below it and the district court deals with cases arising in the district considers appeals on decision given by lower courts besides cases involving serious criminal offenses and a subordinate court consider cases of civil and criminal nature district courts the courts that hear civil cases at the district level are called district courts session court the courts that hear criminal cases are called the session court the panchayat courts the panchayat courts deals with civil and criminal cases at the village level the revenue courts the revenue courts deal with the cases of land records it also assesses and collects land revenue from the land holders lok adalat lok adalat was set up to provide speedy justice it hears and settles the disputes in the language of the people in the public presence a lok adalat is presided over by a retired judge along with a lawyer and a social worker cases are put forward without advocates these cases are solved through mutual consent the first lok adalat was held on 1982 at junagadh of gujarat fast track courts these courts were established in the year 2000 with a aim to clear the long pending session and other lower judicial cases and a tele law initiative to provide legal aid and service to the people in rural areas the tele law initiative was launched by the ministry of law and justice in collaboration with the ministry of electronics and information technology people can seek legal advice from the lawyers through video conferencing available at the common service center on the tele law portal a technology enabled platform under family courts family courts specifically handle family law matters they are civil courts and are utilized for various family related claims such as child custody divorce adoption juvenile issues etc under mobile courts mobile courts will of great relief to the rural people it would create greater awareness about the judicial system among the rural masses cut cost for them and render justice as the doorstep under e courts the e courts project was established in 2005 according to the project all the courts will get computerized judicial service center is the part of e court the public as well as the advocates can ask directly the case status and next hearing dates with free of cost supreme court of india this is the highest court of india and is located in new delhi according to the constitution of india the supreme court is the guardian of the constitution and the highest court of appeal jurisdiction of supreme court under original jurisdiction the supreme court can hear dispute for the first time in that court only it is mainly concerned disputes between the union and one or more states and between two or more states and under appellate jurisdiction it can hear appeals against the decision made by the high court on the granting of certificate by the high court under advisory jurisdiction the court can report to the president its opinion about a question of the public importance referred to it by the president and under writs jurisdiction the writs are issued by the supreme court under article 32 and by the high courts under article 226 of the constitution of india and under court of record it maintained records of the court proceedings and the decisions or finding upon the lower courts and under special powers it supervises the functioning of the lower court high court this is the highest court in the states every state in india has a high court two or three states may have a common high court for example punjab haryana and chandigarh is having one high court it has original appellate and writs jurisdiction below the high court there are a subordinate courts in the states independent and impartial function of judiciary the framers of the constitution establish independent and impartial judiciary in india independence of judiciary is important for the purpose of fair justice democratic country like india judiciary is the custodian of rights of citizen therefore the framers of the indian constitution at the time of framing of a constitution were concerned about the kind of judiciary our country should have this concern of the members of the constituent assembly was responded by dr b r ambedkar in the following words there can be no difference of opinion in the house that our judiciary must be both independent of the executive and must also be competent in it and the question is how these two objects can be secured an effective judiciary should be independent as well as accountable 
the litigation process there are two different types of legal section in india civil and criminal and a civil law it deals with disputes over money property and social matters example disputes relating to land rent marriage dispute etc and a criminal law it deals with conducts or acts that the law defines as offenses example theft murder human harassment etc and a civil law a petition has to be filed before the relevant court by the affected parties and a criminal law it usually begins with lodging of an fir that is first information report with police investigation after which a case is filed in the court and a civil law sentences awarded in the form of money remuneration as per the petitioner claims and a criminal law punishment is awarded if proven guilty the accused is sent to jail public interest litigation that is pil pil is a litigation field in a court of law for the protection of public interest the supreme court introduced this system which allows a person to approach the court with his case pil can be filed for the following reason such as violation of basic human rights religious rights pollution and road safety this could be done by a written letter stating the case this concept is unique to the indian judiciary judiciary plays a crucial role in a democratic state judiciary is the custodian of the constitution and guardian of fundamental rights india the largest representative democracy of the world possesses a well structured and independent judicial system now let me go through a short recap sadar diwani adalat and sadar nizamat adalat were established at alabad lok adalat was set up to provide speedy justice the e courts project was established in 2005 according to the constitution of india the supreme court is the guardian of the constitution my dear students go through the lesson and take care of yourself bye bye